Coach Hughes, uh, a couple days now before you head to Knoxville, how's practice been this week? Uh, practice has been uh, very upbeat. Uh, the kids are excited about being out there because, you know, coming off a of bye week. So looking forward to the uh, opportunity. Rod's coming off a big game. Uh, how do you get him more involved consistently and, and have that back, you know, stack those up back to back? Well, what we tell them is, uh, is uh, play within the confines of, of the offense. You know, just do your job, whatever that is, run the route, uh, blocking, you know, for the run game, uh, pass protecting. Tight ends have to do a lot of different jobs. And, uh, and so we have to be ready at all times to do whatever job that the play call calls for. What allowed it in him to have such a big game against Auburn? Well, I think it's just work ethic and persistence, you know, through the years. Uh, you know, he's been here. He's a senior, fifth-year senior, and he's been in uh, Coach Moorhead's system now for two years, so he understands a lot of the ins and outs. And from an experience standpoint, you know, just keep grinding, just keep working, and the opportunity comes when they throw you the ball. You have to make the catch and have opportunity to make a play. Between guys like Dante and Jacarius, how do you decide during the week or even during the game who gets what series, who gets what snap, what situation? Well, we, we, we evaluate every week, and uh, we go through, um, you know, all of the different things in the game plan. So, you know, it's kind of a, uh, a thing where the, the players understand their roles and everybody has a role. So uh, they look forward to, to playing their role once the game starts. Yeah, coach, you, you play enough ball games, you're going to have one like the Auburn game was. But as a coach, how do you kind of help the team flush that and kind of move on to the next thing? Well, it's a long season, and we know the SEC is a is a uh, tough, tough, tough conference. And uh, you know, if you coach long enough, you know that uh, sometimes uh, you're on the end, both ends of that that scale, and so you have to bounce back and you have to move on because you know we have a lot of games to play in front of us. You spend a lot of time on the defensive side of the ball. What have you seen from Tennessee's defense? Well, you know, they, they play extremely hard. Uh, you know, their head coach is a defensive coach, a defensive coordinator, and uh, but they play extremely hard, especially at front seven, and they have, you know, some good defensive backs. So, you know, Tennessee is a, a school that has a lot of a football tradition, a lot of pride. So, you know, going up there is going to be uh, exciting for our kids, but also uh, – you know, it's, they're, they're, they're the home team, so, you know, they always uh, will come out emotionally ready to play. When a new guy like Jaquarius has a play like the end of the day and he doesn't come down with a touchdown like that, how do you approach it? We say you did everything right except the catch. Now, finish that off? Yeah, young player. You know, he's a freshman. First time he was on the road in that environment, and, you know, he's going to catch a lot of footballs in the future of Mississippi State. He's a great kid, a hard worker on the field, great student, comes from a great family, and, you know, for him is upside and the sky's the limit. So, you know, you want to build him up and keep him going. You know, he came back later on and caught the pass out in the flat, made a nice run after that. So uh, he has to learn and, and move on. Tennessee's got a couple of really athletic linebackers and obviously your personnel group's going to match up some of them. What are your impressions of them? Oh, uh, they like I said, they're well coached. Uh, you know, they, they have pride in their defense. And, and so, uh, you know, uh, their their two linebackers are SEC linebackers. You know, and and so uh, athletically, you know, we we have SEC tight end, so you know, it's it's always a good matchup. Probably oversimplifying things, but it seems like in college football, tight ends generally, as the season goes on, seem to pick up a little bit more of a role here and there. Where early in the season, maybe not so much. Is that a function of just working with the base office first, then emerging, or? Teams take it for granted, now you can use those guys. I, I think that, uh, you know, as, as you said, as the season goes on, you know, uh, certain teams may play certain coverages and do certain things. And, you know, through repetition and watching film, things over and over and over, you know, uh, it's, it's just something that I think it just happens naturally, you know, as the season goes, that uh, uh, things start to, to come their way a little bit. How about you evaluate how you got it? We know Farad's a great blocker, but how would you? Younger guys have been blocking on the edge this year. They've been doing a good job. I, I really uh, think that overall that we've blocked really well. Uh, you know that we have uh, been involved in the run game, uh, particularly, and uh, and so uh, I think that uh, overall they've done a good job. And you know they're they're learning. You know a lot of different things out there on the field and in game situations. So we just got to keep that process up and keep them getting better. What's easier to teach for you? Is it easier to teach a good blocker to become a good pass catcher or a good pass catcher to become a good blocker? 
Well, if you if you look at our tight ends, uh, all of them were uh, at some point wide receivers in high school. And so, uh, you know, you take a guy like Farad, who was a high school receiver, or Dante, who was a high school receiver, or Spivey, who was a high school receiver, and now you put them in, you know, they gain weight, they, their body changes, and now uh, they become a different uh, person physically. And then you just, uh, what you do through repetition is you try to help them to develop, you know, that mindset that, you know, that I'm now I'm just not a pass receiver. I'm a, I have to block, I have to pass protect, I have to catch the football, I have to protect the football when I catch it and running with the ball and different things like that. So having that open mindedness uh, to find a role on a team where they can play and contribute, I think is the most important thing.